last part of the definition we have to understand is that inflation refers to a considerable rise in prices. There must be significant price hikes over a period of time, not small percentages. But how do we measure this percentage? How do we measure inflation? Well, since inflation is a continuous and considerable rise in prices in general, to measure inflation, we use an index to measure the change of a general price level over time. The most widely used measure of inflation is called the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. Now, this is the price index of a weighted and representative selection of consumer goods. And we economists sometimes refer to it as a basket of goods. Now, when we say weighted, we're not talking about that. It means that the goods from this selection that we spend the most on are given more importance, more weight. And representative implies a typical or common selection of products consumed by society, like bread, milk and so on. Now, what a price index measures is the average price of a group of goods relative to a base year. That's a starting point in time. And the price index for the base year is always equal to 100. To illustrate how it works, we'll create a simple price index for this gentleman, Joe Consumer. The following table details the goods and services that Joe consumed during 2008. The first column lists all the goods in the basket, some trousers, some bread, movie tickets, and some apples. Now, column two lists the price of these goods as they were in 2008, and in column three, the price as it will be in 2009. Well, you can see the price of trousers increased by 20%. The price of bread went up 40%. Price of a movie ticket by 10%. And there was no change at all in the price of apples. The total price for the year of each good in the basket is the sum of all expenditure on that item. The quantity purchased multiplied by the price. Column 4 shows 2008 totals and column 5, 2009. Well, since Joe spends more on trousers, they have a higher weight. Any increase in the price of trousers will have a greater impact on the price of the whole basket. In 2008, the basket of goods cost Joe 970 Rand in total. In 2009, the same basket cost him 1,168 Rand. The base year is 2008, and the index value is therefore 100. To calculate Joe's price index for 2009, we simply divide the price of the whole basket in 2009 by the price as it was in 2008, and then multiply by 100 to get an index. 1,168 Rand divided by 970 multiplied by 100 gives us a price index of 120 for 2009. As a percentage with this basket of goods, Joe's rate of inflation is 20%. The same basket of goods cost him 20% more in 2009 than it cost in 2008. Yeah.